Membrane transport. Regulating the passage of various substances is an important function of the cell membrane. The cell membrane must handle different types of molecules which vary by their shape, size, charge of the molecule and so on. To manage that, the cell membrane is equipped with multiple mechanisms of transport. These transport mechanisms are broadly divided into two types based on whether they require metabolic energy or not. Passive transport mechanisms which does not require metabolic energy and an active transport mechanisms which require metabolic energy. Passive mechanisms can transport only downhill that is from high concentration to low concentration whereas the active transport mechanism can do uphill also from low concentration to high concentration. Simple diffusion, facilitated diffusion and osmosis are the topics we are going to discuss in passive membrane transport. Active transport is divided into primary and secondary active transport. Let us start with passive transport mechanisms. Diffusion is a basic physical process which refers to the movement of molecules from higher concentration to lower concentration. This is because of the random molecular movement which is happening in liquids and gases which is referred to as Brownian motion. In biology, the movement of molecules from high concentration to low concentration across a semi-permeable membrane is called a simple diffusion. In simple division, though the molecular movement happens in both directions across the membrane, the net molecular movement happens only from high concentration to low concentration. Let me explain net division with some numbers. This illustration shows two compartments A and B separated by a semi-permeable membrane. Compartment A has high concentration, let's say 100 molecules. Compartment B has only 50 molecules in the beginning. Due to the process of diffusion, the molecules move in both directions that is from A to B and B to A. Let's assume 50% of the molecules have moved to the other side. So from 100, 50 molecules from A has moved to compartment B and out of the 50 here, 25 molecules have moved back to compartment A. The net diffusion refers to the difference between these two movements that is 50 coming A to B and 25 from B to A. So the difference is 25 molecules. So the net diffusion is 25 molecules from A to B which results in a equilibrium. Both compartment has 75 molecules. After equilibrium though there is a random molecular movement there will not be any net diffusion. The rate of a simple division is determined by multiple factors. First the concentration gradient across the membrane. Number two, the surface area available for diffusion. Number three, the permeability of the solute. The permeability is the ease with which the molecule can move across the membrane. And it is determined by multiple factors like partition coefficient, diffusion coefficient and the thickness of the membrane. Partition coefficient is the ratio of solubility of substance in oil versus water. Higher the lipid solubility, higher is the partition coefficient, its permeability is also higher. The second factor is the diffusion coefficient which depends upon the size of the solute, the viscosity of the medium and the temperature. Smaller molecular size, less viscous medium and higher temperature favor higher permeability. So in summary, a small molecule with higher lipid solubility has the highest permeability in the lipid bilayer. So the examples are oxygen and the carbon dioxide both readily diffuse across the membrane but the polar molecules will find it difficult to cross the lipid bilayer though the smaller polar molecules like water and urea can cross their permeability is much lower when compared to oxygen and carbon dioxide when they did the experiment with the intact red blood cell they found that urea and water had a higher permeability initially they thought it could be due to simple division no now we understand that this is due to the facilitation of their diffusion by proteins. This is called facilitated diffusion.